and we're going to talk about that. It was modified with iron, I think. I've got oh. it written down. So we're going to talk about we're going to talk about modifying your collar too, uh, which is a little. <laughs> we're not going to get not going to get real specific and technical. But these are the collars. They are. They go together. So. Um, yeah, this is um, yeah, they do. Yeah. this is what I like to do with the Winsleydale. Um, mm. Is I like to oh, incorporate the locks okay. in a say a traditionally uh, spun yarn, and it gives it a little texture That's and so interest. First of all, yeah, I don't like it just going into the ground. And that's another nice thing about natural dyeing. Yeah. That you you can do you can dump it out in the ground. It doesn't hurt anything. You know, because you don't have any, any chemical heat. Which is Metasweet? The yellow is Metasweet. Oh, Goldy beautiful. yellow is okay. Metasweet. And the others at the bottom there, the purple and the gold, that's, that's uh, some <laughs> What's a yarn that I had. What's the specific kitchen yeah. that you used here? Um, this one? Uh, what's it a specific yeah. which one? It has to be a, a particular one. one. Okay. Now. I know, this is the dream. <laughs> Living up in a ghost room. Hello, my friend. And I was really ambitious. I think we have an extra skein in that bucket. Oh, yeah, we do. Yeah, Get so. you a pair of scissors if you want some. Here's some scissors. I've had a great morning. Um, we are now, I've been learning all about mordants and the different types of plants and things like that. It's just been lovely talking to the women. And I've got this huge thing of stuff that I'm going to try. I've got some, this long brown one is a dock. I'm going to turn around so you can see. Dock leaves. Then I've got meadow sweet. I've got this red one which my um, friend Valerie is trying out. Uh, that little red. It has little purple flowers on it. Interesting. And I have plenty more meadow sweet. I'm going to give it a go. such a lovely day just kind of coming up into East Clare and uh, spending some time with some lovely people and now I'm out walking in nature looking for things I've never really properly looked at the hedgerows and there's actually so many things that I could do I've just spotted some more of this red stuff <sighs> Okay, I know. Something. Oh, yes, that's oh, oh, And what are they? It's ragwort. Ragwort. It's beautiful. Thistle. Thistle and, and then red thing. Red. What did you say this was again? Red. The red. red. Oh, that's Herb Robert. Herb, Herb Robert. Robert. Mm. And this is Doc and Thistle? Yep. Yeah. So many names. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Okay. Should have actually put in a bit of nettle then. The extract is, um, I guess, the natural material, but it's concentrated. It's kind of concentrated. I'll go see which one I did.
it's day two of my natural dyeing workshop and it's raining! Ah! <laughs> now, this may be the first time that you will find me excited about rain in Ireland, but it has not rained for uh, four weeks. Uh, it is July, June, July. This means that the animals in all the farms are going undergoing massive crisis. We have animals in Ireland which rely on the wet grass, on the really fertile um, land. We don't have animals that can survive in hot, prolonged, no rain situations. Uh, most of our animals are outside and grass fed. So this was becoming a massive, massive problem in Ireland. And now it's raining. So even if it does heat up a little bit again, at least the ground will be dampened and the grass can rally and um, the animals won't suffer, which is great. And also the farmers won't have to buy in at, like ridiculously expensive hay and um, to try and feed them. So I'm so happy. Anyway, that's an aside. So our um, our plants have been more have been um, soaking overnight. In uh, we popped in boiling water into them, and they've been soaking overnight. And now they've got rainwater. Yay! Uh, and the wool has been mordanted. So today we're going to go in and start dyeing. So I'm so excited! Ah! Okay. So this is duck. <laughs> this duck. This is cow, cow parsley. parsley. Look, Look at that, that green. Color. <gasps> And that is Herb Robert. It has like a ready kind of tint. That's, and then I think got, that look, that's a lovely colour. It's dark. Yeah. And yeah. Dark, and a dark and a bit of thistle. Yeah. So we're just getting it ready. We're boiling up the, the okay. pots now. You should you get your pot. Hammy, okay. hammy, just water. Water. And I'll <laughs> the Now watch and make sure you remember which pot is yours. <gasps> Tansy. So it has a, a bright yellowy flower and it yeah, smells you, amazing. <laughs> You're missing out everyone on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> this is the most sure I use essential oil so I don't know how much then they get out of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's good. Mm -hmm. Have that for so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You could definitely have that. Yeah. I don't know. So we've got cow parsley mm -hmm. and tansy, mm -hmm. two greens we're going to see. We've got dock, really intense dock down there, that's my one. We've got herb robert and we've got dock and thistle which are lighter. We'll have a look and see. Charlie. Mm, sweetie. This is the Herb Robert. Ooh. Ooh. And then this was your, no, is that the Dock and Thistle? Dock and Thistle, This is yeah. the Herb Robert. Oh, it's actually kind of like a, a greeny, yellowy green. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're really good. And I use them a lot when I'm scouring yeah. the wool too. Yeah. I just oh, put it in there. genius. Mm -hmm. So this is the this is Herb Robert. Herb Robert. Okay. 
It's <laughs> steamed up. And then I'll just mash as much of that water out of there as I can. Just to get all that good colored stuff. So this is soaked pretty much for 16 hours overnight. And then mm -hmm. 30 minutes of 30 minutes to an hour boiling. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Just dump this. Valerie, this is your Herb Robert. This is and Sandra's hand spun. What is it, Romney or mm, Romney? Romney. It's, it's already ready. taking a little yeah. color. Oh, wow. look. That nice. Mm -hmm. but once it boils and simmers, it should darken. Lovely. Double tansy. <laughs> this is cow parsley. This is dark thistle. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And then this is uh, Herb Robert. <laughs> That's the one that's like so hard to remember. <gasps> I can't remember. I think it was about, about 2 o'clock when we put it on. I've got one, uh, I've got my ones timed for 40 minutes, which allows 10 oh. minutes to get up to boiling and then okay. boiling. Okay. So, so when will that be over behind with, you? Know? I don't know. I'll go in and check. So this is honeysuckle that has been soaked overnight and then boiled for about 30 minutes and then strained and that's the colour down there so I'm just going to press it down. Oh, you the honeysuckle in the pot? Oh crud! What is it? Meadow sweet. Ugh, thank you. Meadow sweet! Technically a flower, I call my favourite flower. I kind of get So what's this? This is thistle. And this one is, these are, the, these that's two, a bramble. That's bramble? Yeah. Oh, like, so, Black, blackberries. Oh. Sorry, it's getting And I can't wait to try blackberries. Yeah. 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 And then what's this one? Oh, foxglove. Oh, sorry. Yes. It's impossible to see. So it's, it has this kind of, ooh. I know, it looks so beautiful. That's just stems and kind of gone to seed. So talented! All five cameras. <laughs> this is how difficult it is to take pictures. But it's nicer on this side too. Mm. It's very nice. Oh, I love these. Oh yeah, that is a nice one. Well done, Charlie. Oh, very good. Excellent. Oh, and the server of the tea. I want to be on Facebook. <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> Bye, ladies. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm so sorry. Why not? <laughs> so this is Sandra, Sandra King of Meet the Wool, and we've been at her course all the last two days. Thank you so much. How you're, long have you been well. dyeing, Sandra? Like with uh, natural dyes? With natural dyes, uh, probably about four or five years. She's got Not this that beautiful little shed <laughs> in her beautiful little garden. <laughs> and um, so, uh, do you run these courses very often? I try to do two a year. Two a year. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Lovely. And so, where can they find you in those courses? Um, I have a website, meetthewall.com. Find me website, there. And I? I have a Facebook page by the same name. Yeah. 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 And I uh, announce. Yeah. My workshops. Yeah. On both. Yeah. Great. <laughs> well, thank you. This is my, I want to show people this. <laughs> this is cotton and I'll get it started. Meadow sweet. Meadow sweet. I picked up the heads, of, the heads of meadow sweet along the road and we soaked it overnight, chopped it up, soaked it overnight, uh, boiled it mm -hmm. for an hour ish. Well, about 30 minutes, an hour into, in enough water that would cover the wool. Oh, the, the, cotton and the cotton was mordanted with alum overnight as well no for about an hour mm -hmm. i'm yeah. learning it i'm yeah. trying to remember it all the, we mordanted this first yes we yes. mordanted this first it's like soaking your wool mm -hmm. if you're dying um and then you strain out your plant stuff mm -hmm. This is my test at the end <laughs> <laughs> and then um you dump the dye 
water back into your pot and then you put your stuff in and you let it boil for about Sim a, yeah simmer simmer, simmer not, or, not boil yeah for about 30 45 minutes 30 45 yeah. minutes yeah. and, and that's what you get <laughs> So I, I take I I, I put in some wool and I put in some uh, cotton. So I took out the cotton when it was at this orange color, and we've just added some copper mm -hmm. um, little granules to the wool to see if it's supposed to turn it green. But we'll see. <gasps> I'm so excited! So thank mystery. you so much. And that's what we've learned actually. At, um, that's welcome. what I've learned is that everything is a mystery. You never really know what you're going to get, <laughs> but the possibilities are limitless. That's right. So thank you so much. You're yeah. welcome, Grace. Oh. <laughs> and I'll see you at the next guild meeting. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. <laughs>